Hi, I'm Afsana Atar and welcome to Jira 8 Recipes. I have been a Jira Power user for over 10 years and have used it to successfully manage both traditional and agile projects in tech organizations like IBM, Principal, to name a few. Jira has become synonymous with agile implementations in many organizations and is one of the most popular software development tools utilized by agile teams today. It is my pleasure bringing this course to you to share my experience with users and managers using Jira 8 for managing their projects. I will also be providing tips and tricks for administrators to customize Jira for their organization's needs. Atlassian also has a great product ecosystem with a mature and well-established marketplace for developers to create and sell business apps. The marketplace surpassed over $250 million in total sales with over 3,000 apps across all Atlassian products in the ecosystem today. This course will also help Java developers to develop for the Atlassian marketplace or create customized add-on for their organization. I hope you are as excited as I am to embark on this journey. So let's have a look at the sections we will cover in this course. In section 1, we will get familiarized with the Jira workspace and we will learn to manage issues and agile projects effectively. In section 2, we will learn the fundamentals of the Jira plugin development process. We will look at setting up the development environment, creating a plugin, deploying it and customizing it. In the third section, we will learn to configure and customize Jira for our organization's needs as well as get introduced to using Jira database and REST API for add-on development. In the fourth section, we will get our hands dirty with creating custom fields programmatically. We will also learn to use Atlassian JavaScript library to customize values in system and custom fields during runtime. In the fifth section, we will learn to work with workflows in Jira. We'll go the whole mile of creating one, building validators and triggers, and also managing permissions on issues based on workflow status. Finally, in section 6, we will learn to effectively use reporting capabilities in Jira by using reports, gadgets, and dashboards. We will also learn to create custom reports and gadgets to handle our project requirements. Additionally, we will utilize internationalization and localization to leverage the flexibility to change gadgets content according to the user's language preferences. So, let's get started. 